Hey guys, it's Jessica. Thanks for joining me for our Family Travel Tip Tuesday. This is the place where we talk all about practical tips that you can use to travel smarter, travel better, and travel cheaper. Now, today we're going to be talking about something that I've had so many questions about because we have five little kids, is what do you do about car seats when you're traveling? Okay, there's always so much confusion about how to handle it if you want to take your own car seats, if you should, if you should maybe just avoid cars altogether and take public transportation, or maybe you should rent car seats. So I'm going to talk about some of our experiences and our opinions on what you should do and also some of the best options for car seats for travel. Now, before you start traveling, one thing that you need to make sure that you do is you need to check the regulations and the car seat laws where you're going. Now, if you're in the U.S., you're going to notice that the regulations vary from state to state. Um, ages that kids have to be in booster seats or car seats or rear-facing, things like that. So make sure that you check so that you comply with wherever you're going. Also, make sure that you check um, different countries as well because there is a huge variety of different laws and regulations that you need to make sure that you're following when you're traveling. Um, now, the next question is, is if you decide that you're going to take a car seat, that you're going to need a car seat, that you're going to have a car while you're traveling, which with kids for us, unless we're traveling to a big city where there's really reliable public transportation, or we know we're going to kind of mostly be staying put and that maybe we'll take the occasional Uber here and there and we're not really going to need a car, having a car is a really great option for kids, you know, so you can run to the store if you need. It just simplifies a lot of aspects. So the question is, is should you take your own car seat or should you rent one from the rental agency? Now, having done both things, I want to let you know of one thing. And if you've rented car seats from rental from car rental agencies, you'll know their car seats are usually pretty gross, they're dirty, they're not the highest quality. Um, so you're not getting a whole lot of bang for your buck, okay? So just kind of expect you're gonna be getting a pretty, pretty low-end car seat that's not it's probably safe, but it's probably not very clean. Um, so that's what you're getting for. Also, that car, car rental companies charge you differently. They all charge you differently for the car seats. Sometimes we've traveled places where they'll say, okay, this is our flat fee for renting a car seat for the week um, that we're renting the car. And we're like, oh, well, for 10 bucks, of course we're going to do that. But there are other times that we've been gone to look at renting a car, and it said, okay, it's going to be 20 bucks to rent a car seat every single day. We would end up paying more to rent those car seats than we would for our entire, than we would like for our new car seat. So keep those, keep those costs in mind to see kind of how it's going to add up for you um, differently. Um, now for us, I totally recommend taking your own car seat. I know that people are saying, oh, airlines don't handle your baggage very well. It's not a good idea to take your car seat. We've probably traveled with a car seat 75% of the time that we travel, which is a lot. Um, and we've never had any car seats be damaged. We've never had any problems. We don't even, I don't even put them in special, in like a special case or anything. Most of the time, airlines will just have like a big plastic bag that you can put your, your car seat in. We just throw them in there and they've just been fine. Maybe we're lucky, but for us, it's worked out really good. Um, there have been a couple times that airlines haven't had bags and our car seats have gotten a little bit dirty, but if you're curious about that, just call the airline and ask ahead if they're going to have that at the airport available for you. It's usually just like a giant, huge, really thick trash bag um, that they put the car seat in. But um, we have found that not all car seats are created equal, equal, and even if you have a car seat that you love, it might not be the best for traveling. As you're trying to lug it around the airport, maybe you have to take a few different transportation methods, different things like that. Um, they're not all created equal. You want something that's relatively slim, and you also want a car seat that doesn't weigh a lot because you've already got all your luggage, you're trying to haul your kids, so find something that doesn't weigh a lot. So here are the ones that we recommend that have worked really well for us. Um, the first one is, and this is for just forward-facing kids in a five-point harness, is the Costco Sinera. I think that's how you pronounce it, but it's under $50 at Walmart. It's a great, really simple car seat. It doesn't weigh a lot. Like, it is seriously lightweight. There's no bells and whistles to it. But it's lightweight. It's going to cost you a ton less than it is to rent at a car rental agency, um, unless you're just going for a day or so. 
but typically it's going to cost you a lot less and it's really easy to get around with because it's really light. Um, the second one, and we've used this, these very extensively, and this is the Bubble Bum Inflatable Booster Seat. Um, this is actually not inflated right here. It's super, super lightweight. We actually don't even check them as car seats because they're so, whew, that was a little dusty. They're so thin and compact um, that our kids can just put them in their carry-on suitcase. We'll have them fill their suitcase, and the last thing we put in is the car seat, zip it up, and then when we get our car, the first thing we pull out is this, is this bubble bum. We inflate it, and they work really great. I also love that they're very slim, so if you are trying to fit maybe three kids in the back of a sedan that's not very big for your rental car, these are an awesome option because it makes it so that you can fit more kids easily. Um, we actually also, we have, we have several of these because one place we went, they required booster seats for kids up to the age of 12, so we needed four of them. Um, we keep these in our car and we just shove one under the car seat, um, like the front car seat because it's really small. Um, and so we'll have it under the passenger seat and then when we have to take an extra kid somewhere, it's really easy to just pull this out, blow it up, and then toss them in the booster seat and then let the air out and put it back under the seat when we're done. So really, really love that. It's great for traveling. I think they're like 25 bucks on Amazon. Highly recommend it. Um, the other one that we have tried, and we actually don't own this one, but we borrowed it from some friends of ours, is the Ride Safer Travel Vest. And it's basically a vest that the kids get buckled into. And it's kind of a strange concept, but it does a really great job. It keeps them really secure, keeps them really safe. We had a trip, they're approved for ages three and up, and we had a trip once where we knew that we needed a, like a five point equivalent harness, which is what this is, um, for, for our three year old. And we were gonna have some time where we were, we were actually going to Venice and then we had a couple of weeks after that. And we knew that we couldn't travel all around Venice with this regular big car seat. So we took the Ride Safer vest, um, it just Velcroed on them every time and then there were a couple straps that we had to adjust and it was a really great, simple option and it's so small. I mean, it was like the size of a jacket, you guys. So that one's a really great option. It's a little bit pricier. I think they're about $150, but if you've got multiple kids and you travel a lot, you can get some serious mileage out of them. Um, yeah, oh, one other thing I wanted to tell you guys about is my friend Jamie, um, I will link to this as well. She has this really cool contraption that she can strap her kid's car seat onto her carry-on suitcase so that her carry-on basically turns into like a stroller. So she puts the kid in the car seat, straps the car seat onto the, onto the carry-on, and she's wheeling this car seat through the airport, which is such a brilliant idea. So I'm gonna link to that because I think that's super smart. It's a great way to get through the airport easier because you are not trying to wrestle a toddler and trying to juggle all that luggage and different stuff. So I'll link to that because I was super impressed when she showed me that. Um, but those are our suggestions. Obviously, if, you, if you're going somewhere where you're not gonna need a car seat, don't take one um, because they're heavy and they're a little bit complicated. But if you're smart and get something lightweight like we recommended, it makes your travel a whole lot simpler, a whole lot easier. And these are cheap options that can really make your life a lot better as you travel. Really guys, that's our whole point behind doing this Travel Tip Tuesday is to help you find great solutions to your travel problems so that you can travel better and travel more. Have a great day.